Hey guys, welcome to Sketch A Day. I'm Spencer and I am so excited to be here. Um, I just love drawing. I hope you realize that. But before we begin, I want you to check out sketchaday.com slash newsletter because if you go there and sign up, you'll actually get a free downloadable super sketch tip guide. And you might be asking, what is that? Well, it's it's a distillation of some of the things I've learned over the years as a professional designer that I wanna share with you. But more importantly, I wanted to share that with you. It also has a list of materials I use and it includes a step-by-step -step demo on how to sketch and render a chair. So check that out. If you haven't as well, be sure to check out my Instagram at sketchaday.com. And I post a lot there if you're looking to connect. It's a good way to get in touch with me. So be sure to check that out. Facebook page is live as well. Um, but if you have no idea what's going on, definitely hit subscribe, turn on alerts. I do try to post a lot. So if you don't want to miss out on live sketch sessions or the videos I post, be sure to check that out. Well, today I'm going to cover a concept that Yes, I have covered before, but I thought it would be fun to just do a simple design exercise and sketch just a simple kitchen utensil. But before we begin, I want you to grab some paper, grab a pen, markers, whatever you want to use. Today I'm using a Niji Stylus pen. Um, I'll put that in the links below, but a paper made flare is fine or whatever you're most comfortable with. So if I were going into designing something like a spatula, what I probably want to do is understand what the geometry of this thing is. So from the side, I'm probably gonna have something that looks similar to that. And if I project some lines down like so, and maybe draw a box there, connecting element in the center and our handle, and maybe introduce some transitions, pretty quickly we have something that resembles a spatula that you might be accustomed to or used to. Okay, but by drawing the side view and the top view, it gives me a, a general understanding of what this form or this object might take. So now in perspective, what I want to do is break this up into three sections. Okay, so mentally I'm thinking because of the changes in angle and surfaces, I'm going to break this up into three sections. Make it simple. Think of ways to make your process as simple as possible. So with that, let's start with a plane like so. Okay, and we know we have a plane at an angle like so, and we have another plane at another angle like so. So three planes that we can draw on our paper. If I draw a box around this one, and then ellipse in that box, I now have the start and the end of the handle, so pretty simple. And now looking at the top view here, as you notice, there's a little bit of a curve to this handle, okay? And we'll give this some thickness in a little bit. So if I just connect these two with a curve, I want you to kind of estimate and decide for yourselves what feels right here. And on the side, if I draw a line just next to the first line I drew, that's gonna create the perception of depth for this handle. So now, or rather the connecting element to the handle. So now my spatula has some thickness to the metal. On the, the spatula portion itself, just by sketching in these curves, I'm now introducing those transitions that were present in my top view. And even if you've sketched it a little bit too short, you can extend that out and start to map out three slots. Okay, just by overdrawing. And I like to figure out the form before I divide and beautify, okay? So figuring out the intersections as we go, offset, draw the same thing introduce a little bit of line weight, and now we have some thickness, okay? And just to finish it out, it's a pretty simple concept. Let's say maybe there's a part break here, and this is actually some sort of metal. So I'm gonna shade this in in a way that implies that there's some high reflectivity to this material. If you're confused about what I'm talking about, check out my videos. 
on materials and how to render those, including chrome or mirror finishes. But if I just grab a gray marker and let me make sure I have one that I actually want to use here. I have so many markers, guys, like it's insane. I'm always, I'm always trying to find my markers and it's never quite a smooth process. So my apologies. But I have here a W4 marker. And what I'm going to do is focus on kind of the edges that are orthogonal to surfaces that would be facing up. So if I just focus on these side surfaces like so, and on my handle, get a little bit of a shadow core on the far side and toward the front, create an outline like so. I now have enough to communicate three dimensionality and my concept on a sketch page. In fact, because we did those orthographic views or those dead on views, they actually serve as compositional elements to the main sketch. So just by adding a little bit of line weight here, for example, just like so, and on our main side view, let's make sure we capture that little metal detail there. Just really quickly, just like so, we now have a sketch page. Pretty quick, right? So that's how I use the power of what I call form, divide, and beautify, a three-step process to laying things out getting your perspective right, and then working on your transitions and details as you sketch. We can even add a couple little dots here for texture and so forth. Okay, well that was a quick one, but hopefully you guys picked up some good stuff. I had fun as always. I know it's not a car, robot, or spaceship, but hopefully you're able to learn something through this simple method. Focus on the form, the big picture, then divide that form, break it up into logical pieces, and then beautify it, texture, color, tone, and so forth. Thanks again for hanging with me. Normally here, I would kind of just plug my own stuff, but um, I feel like just saying one thing, and that is if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy what I'm sharing, I want you to figure out one way this week to give back to someone. Um, take a moment, especially this time of year, it's Christmas time, um, think of a way to, to share something you've learned with someone. And that's all I ask is take a moment, take some time, whatever it, it ends up being. Share something that you've learned about the things that you love with the people you care about. Thanks for joining me on Sketch Today, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.